All right, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back. For those of you who watched the first game here, Mavericks getting st getting ready to start here. Next game against Rouse Raiders here at Rouse Field. Starting pitcher for Rouse Kilgore. Mavericks are the visiting team this time. Leading off for the Mavericks, number 26, Ryan Morin. Comes the first pitch. Fastball misses just a little bit high, ball one. Okay, pitch, next pitch is in and is outside, but the umpire called time right as the pitcher Kilgore was delivering. Uh, and then he changes his mind, he calls it a ball. So the count is 2-0 to the leadoff hitter Morin. Two-0 pitches in there on the fastball on the outside corner for a called strike. So two and one to Morin. Next pitch, fastball swung on and missed. So count will go to two and two. Next pitch is fastball low and in the dirt. So we will have a full count. Three two pitches swung on and fouled back and out of play. Next pitch swung on, grounded sharply to the shortstop, fielded. Throw is way offline though, and goes into the Rouse dugout, so that will be an automatic awarded second base for the leadoff hitter Morin. That brings up the number two hitter for McNeil, Ryan Vosick. Bostock lays down a bunt, fielded by the pitcher. That throw is over the head of the first baseman as well and goes way into right field. Moore will be around to score, and Bostock is hustling his way all the way into third base, and he is stand-up at third base with a bunt that is overthrown into right field. It has an error. And McNeil scores here in the top of the first inning in their first two at-bats. That brings up number three hitter, Chris Windesman. Windesman swings and lines a sharp ground ball in between shortstop and third base for a base hit. And Ryan Vosick will come across the plate easily. And the score is Mavericks two. Going to have a courtesy runner. Chris Winnesman will come on to pitch when the Mavericks take the field here in the bottom of the first. Number 22, Ryan Shook, comes in and takes over his place at first base as the runner first. Brings up number 24, Jackson Collins, to hit. First pitch is a ball in the dirt, gets underneath the legs of the catcher. And the Mavericks are having themselves a bit of a track meet here in the first inning. Pinch runner Shook advances to second base on the pass ball. And there's going to be a bit of a conversation on the mound here.
next pitch to Jackson is swung on and missed. So count goes to one and one. Next pitch fastball low and in the dirt. Count is now two and one. Pitcher makes a pickoff attempt over to second base. Does not throw over, though. Shook gets back in time. Shook with a pretty good lead at second. Pitch to Collins is swung on and fouled back. Swung on and grounded sharply, gets past the third baseman, down into the left field corner. Shook is around and will score easily, and Collins is in with a stand-up double. So Mavericks now with three runs. Here in the top of the first inning, and still nobody out. First pitch to the next hitter, Lance Balius. Swung on and missed for strike one. Balius swings the next pitch, fouls it back out of play, the right side. So 0 2 count to Balius. Oh, they run a timing play to try to pick off the runner Collins at second base. Unsuccessful. It gets back in time. Baylor swings to the next pitch, fastball outside, fouls it back into the screen. Count remains 0-2. Swings the next pitch, miss. Swings and misses the next pitch, but the ball gets away from the catcher. He he is safe at first on the drop third strike. The catcher tried to throw down to third to get the runner Collins, but that throw is offline, and so everyone is safe on the drop third strike. So with no outs here in the top of the first, McNeil has runners on first and third, and that brings Jack Goins to the plate. Going to show his bunt on the first pitch. Pitch is thrown down and broken communication on the first and third play there. Catcher threw down to second base. No one was at the bag. The ball just floats into center field. And it is another easy score for Collins, who comes home for the fourth run of the inning. And Baileyus advances all the way to third. And it's a 1-0 count to the hitter Goins. Next pitch is a fastball in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch, fastball misses a little bit high and outside, so two balls, one strike. <coughs> Pitch fastball misses inside.
inside. So count will be three balls and one strike to Goins. Next pitch is swung on and lined and into left field for a base hit. So another RBI single for Jack Goins. And with five runs across in the top of the first and no outs, it looks like that's going to do it for the starting pitcher for Rouse. We are going to have a pitching change. We will be back in just a minute. Pitcher number 17 comes in for Rouse, or sorry, number 21 comes in for Rouse. Don't have a name on this new pitcher here. Unfortunately, the lineup card we got was very, very faint in the writing. So, number 21, new pitcher for Rouse. Batter is Garrett Banks. Jack Goins, the runner on first, and uh, no one out. Banks looks at the first pitch from the new pitcher. It's over for a called strike one. A one pitch is swung on a miss. Strike two. Throws over to first base. Let's check the runner goings. He's back in time. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Banks. Ball is in the dirt. And the catcher feels it, keeps it in front of him, but then tries to throw down to catch Goins, the runner leading off first base, and sends the ball into right field. So Goins advances to second very easily on that overthrow. And so Goins is on second with a 1-2 count to our hitter Garrett Banks. Big swing to miss the next pitch. And Banks goes down on strikes. So that'll be the first out of the inning.
Brings up number 17, Gavin Van Noy for the Mavericks. First pitch and attempted breaking ball just misses hitting Benoit in the head. So one ball, no strikes. Next pitch is in there for a called strike. So one on one count to Benoit. Catcher goes over and gets some chalk off the line. I've never seen that before. Hmm. Could be a creative tactic to uh, uh, better yeah. better enable the pitcher to see the signs. Yep, you're right. Next pitch is a fastball over the plate for call strike two. Some catchers use nail polish. That was I've never seen that one before, but that's kind of a crafty idea there. Just go get yourself a little lime chalk and yep. Maybe a pitcher can see your fingers down there for the signs better. So one two pitch to Benoit. Swung on, lofted softly into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And the speedy Goins was probably holding up a little bit to see if it was going to be caught, but he's going to get into third base. And the inning keeps alive. Runners on first and third. <clears throat> Brings up number two, Sam Kubaney, ninth batter of the inning for the Mavericks. Kubani shows bunt and pulls back. Pitches over the plate, called strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses outside and low. So 1-1 one, one count now to Kubani. Goins, the runner on third. Benoit, the runner on first. Wanoi takes off to second base, and that's going to cause some chaos, and Goins will come yeah, in. Yeah, yes. And nice play. And steal, third, and steal home, and Vanoy is actually safe at second as well. Mavericks so, execute that perfectly. So a well-executed delay slash double steal, and another run comes across for the Mavericks. One one pitch to Kubani is low, misses for a ball. Next pitch is a fastball in high in tight on the shins, almost hits Kubani, but misses for a ball. So three balls, one strike. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into the air into shallow center field. Center fielder is coming up hard to catch it. And he, at full sprint, comes in and makes the catch. Nice play by the center fielder for the second out. It's about a half a step from getting down and, and possibly as a single, but. So Cabaney flies out to center field, second out of the inning. We're back to the top of the order. Mavericks have now batted around in the top of the first. So we're back to leadoff hitter Ryan Moore and swings and misses at the first pitch.
Next pitch, fastball, swung on and missed. Strike two. So 0 2 count to Morin. Swing and a miss. The next pitch, fastball high, strike three. So that ends the inning, but not before the Mavericks bat around. Six runs come across, and we head to the bottom of the first inning. Rouse Raiders coming up for their first at bat. Score six nothing, Mavericks. All right, we're back with the bottom of the first inning. Top of the order for the Raiders. Leadoff batter number six, Aleppa. Swings at the first pitch from the pitcher Chris Windesman. Fly ball. Caught by the left fielder, Jack Goins. One pitch, one quick out for the Mavericks. Flies out to left field. That brings up the number two hitter, Solomon. With one out. Looks at the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Next pitch. Swung on ground. Oh, but he fits. In fair territory, but it's fouled off of the batter's foot, and he is down and doing a bit of recovery here. He's going to walk it off. Take a walk down and go talk to his third base coach. Looks like he fouled the ball right off the top of his foot. Solomon makes his way back to the batter's box. Looks like he's okay and able to continue. He will step in with an 0-2 count. Oh, 
Next pitch is swung on and lined into the gap in left center field and they'll get down for a base hit. Solomon makes a big turn around first and he heads straight into second base. And he is in with a double. I have a courtesy runner for the catcher Solomon. Wind feels like it's picked up a little bit. Sure has. So one out. Runner on second base after the double there brings up the th number three hitter. Salazar. Looks at the first pitch in there for a called strike. Fastball in the inside corner. Nice fastball. Well located by Windesman. Catches the outside corner low called strike two. So working ahead with an 0-2 count on the three hitter Salazar. Checks the runner at second. Next pitch fastball misses in. Low in the dirt inside so count goes to one and two. Pitches. Breaking ball in dirt kept in front by the catcher Banks. Runner does not advance, stays at second base. We have a 2 2 count now to Salazar. Middle infield just working the runner at second base. When he goes to the plate. Pitches a fastball, <coughs> kicks off the glove of Banks and heads back to the screen. And the runner will move from second to third on the pass ball. And the count is now full on the hitter Salazar. Three two pitch, swung on, chopped. High ground ball right to the shortstop, Cabaney. Throw to first base is in time to get the runner. So the Rouse head coach is going to come over and appeal to get an opinion from the home plate umpire on it. But as it stands right now, as they ground out to shortstop, It'll be the second out of the inning, and the runner from third did advance and will score regardless of the verdict on the ground ball there. So it looks like the call stands on the field. It is a ground out. So two outs now, one run across for Rouse. And that brings up the third baseman, Colby Diaz. First pitch is a fastball, misses outside, ball one. Next pitch is swung on, fouled off the catcher's chest protector, and back to the screen. So 1-1 one, one count.
1-1 pitch is flown into left field. Goins is over to make the catch. And that ends the inning. So one run comes across for the Rouse Raiders. On a double. And we head to the top of the second. Mavs coming up to bat. Score Maverick 6. Rouse 1. with the top of the second inning. Two, three, and four batters up in the Mavericks lineup. Leading off is the third baseman, Ryan Bosick. Was safe on a bunt that the pitcher misplayed for an error in the first inning. He swings big at the first pitch and misses for strike one. Pitches a fastball inside and in the dirt, bounces back to the screen. Count goes to one of one. One one pitch is swung on, lofted into center field. Right at the center fielder, though, makes a couple steps in and makes the play. So solid contact, but one out for the Mavericks here. Brings up the pitcher, Chris Winsman, single in his first at bat. Breaking ball misses far outside. So one ball and one strike to Windsman. Oh, breaking ball called strike seemed to be pretty far out of the zone. Regardless, we have a 1-2 count now to Chris Windesman. Swings and misses the next pitch for strike three. So two outs for the Mavericks here in the top two. Brings up the first baseman, Jackson Collins. 
doubled with a nice hard ground ball right down the third base line in his first at bat. Looks at the first pitch in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Ball low gets past the catcher. Back to the screen. Count is one ball and one strike. One one pitch is swung on, lined just behind second base and down for a single into center field. Collins now has a single and a double on the day so far. We're only in the second inning. Brings up the designated hitter, Lance Balius. Balius swings at the first pitch, ground ball to third base. Diaz is there to make the play. Throws over to first in time to retire the side. So Mavericks tech on another hit. No runs. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Mavs still up by a score of 6-1. to one. We'll be back in a minute. We're back with the bottom of the second inning. And uh, number four is number four from Rouse is going to be the leadoff hitter this inning. But it looks like there's a ball discovered at the back of the backstop here. Gives the umpire and is ready to go. First pitch in there from Windesman is a called strike. Yeah. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into center field. Center fielder Morin is there to make the catch easily for the first out. So one quick out. Here in the bottom of the second, brings up number 22 for Rouse. Six, batting in the sixth position in the lineup. First pitch is in there for a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Next 
pitch fastball misses low and inside. So 1-1 one, one count. Pitch is grounded foul towards the third base side. Next pitch is fouled back just behind the bleachers. Out of play. One two count now on the batter. Another pitch, another foul ball. This one's grounded just in front of the Mavericks dugout on the third base side. Two pitch swung on, lined. He's, he's given equal opportunity to both dugouts with those balls. He is just tormenting both, both dugouts. dugouts yeah. <laughs> Almost lines that one into his own dugout. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's everyone's okay though. Everybody's on alert now, both sides. <laughs> yeah. Another one-two pitch coming up here to number twenty-two. Ball alone in the dirt, so count will go to two and two. Two-two pitch swung on, grounded sharply to shortstop. Kubeni's there, makes the play, throws it over the first in time. So two outs. Brings up the right fielder, Colin Correjo, number 34 for Rouse. Left-handed hitter. Facing left-handed pitching, Chris Windesman. First pitch fastball is low and in the dirt outside, ball one. Correjo looks at the second pitch. Fastball that misses just high. So 2 0 count. Next pitch is in there for a called strike. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Nobody on here in the bottom of the second. Pitches a fastball, misses a little bit low. So we'll have a 3 1 count now to Correjo. Next pitch is swung on, driven deep into right center field, but center fielder Moore is over there to make the catch for the third out of the inning. So no runs, no hits for the Raiders in the bottom of the second. We go to the top of the third. Mavs coming up to bat and ahead, six to one.
All right, back to the top of the third inning. Leading off for the Mavericks, left fielder Jack Goins. Was safe on a, uh, actually had a, had a nice shot out to left field in his first at bat. He offers bunt, the first pitch there, commits and misses it. So strike one. Pitch is a fastball outside and in the dirt. Gets back to the screen, so 1-1 one, one count. Next pitch, big swing by Goins on the fastball there, but misses, so count is now one ball and two strikes on the leadoff hitter Goins. One two pitch breaking ball and just misses him. So the count will be two balls and two strikes. pitch. Fastball down low. Misses. So full count to Goins. That was a 3-2 pitch. Swung on and boy he got a, all of that one too just to hit very well but fouled Almost up towards the school over on the <laughs> left side, <laughs> way behind the Mavericks dugout. But uh, Goins flashing a little power there. So 3-2 count remains. And here comes the pitch. Swung on, popped up. Might hit us here in the bleachers. Nope, just goes right behind. Going steps in for another 3-2 pitch. And the pitch is miss out, misses outside low for ball four. So great at bat there by Goins. And he's got a lot of speed. So we'll see what kind of uh, havoc he can create here in the base pass. Garrett Banks, the catcher, steps in. Nobody out, runner on first here in the top of the third inning. He shows bunt, puts a nice bunt down, but just a foul Almost. down the third baseline. the 0-1 pitch to Banks. Pitcher throws over to try to catch Goins, leading off first base. Not in time, Goins is back, success safely. Runner goes. Goins is thrown out, trying to steal second base. Well, that throw had to be right on the money to get him, and it was. Good throw by the Rouse catcher. Oh, 
Last pitch was a strike as well to Banks. So Banks has an 0-2 count. And he swings the next pitch, pops it up right in between pitcher and catcher, and the catcher just reaches out and makes, makes the play for the second out of the inning. Mavericks have two outs now in the top of three. Brings up the number eight hitter, second baseman, Gavin Benoit. Singled in his first at bat. Takes a big hack at the first pitch. Misses strike one. Swings the nest pitch, misses that one as well, so count goes to 0-2 on Benoit. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike three. So that will end the inning for the Mavericks. No runs, no hits. And in the bottom or top of the fourth, score still 6 1 Mavericks. We are back with the bottom of the third, not the top of the fourth, as previously stated at the end of that last inning here. Rouse sending their eight, nine hitters and then back to the top of the order. Shortstop number 23 for Rouse stands in as the leadoff out of this inning. Looks at the first pitch fastball, misses just a little high and out, ball one. The fastball misses high and out. Two balls, no strikes. Two zero pitch from Windersman comes in, catches the inside corner for called strike one. One pitch, fastball misses, a little bit high and outside again. So three balls, one strike. Next pitch is driven. Fly ball, center field. Morin is underneath it, and he makes the play. So one away, brings up the Second baseman, number seven, and the ninth batter in the lineup for Rouse.
First pitch is a fastball up high and outside. Ball one. Next pitch swung on, another fly ball lofted into center field. Warren takes a few steps back, is underneath it, and makes the catch. So, two quick fly outs to center field. And we are back to the top of the order for Rouse. Center fielder Aleppa comes up, flew out to the left fielder Jack Goins in the first inning. First pitch misses outside and low, ball one. Next pitch misses just a little bit low. So it'll be two balls and no strikes to Aleppo. Next pitch swung on, lined into center field. This one's gonna, oh! Center field to Morin comes in and makes the grab, so. Nice catch. Morin, the center fielder, makes all three outs that inning. And no runs, no hits for Rouse. Now we head to the top of the fourth. Mavericks coming up to bat. Score still 6-1 Mavericks. Top of the fourth inning. Number nine hitter and shortstop Sam Kubani will lead off the inning. He'll be followed by center fielder Ryan Morin and third baseman Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Kubani, fastball misses inside and high, ball one. Kubani flew out to center field in his first at bat in the first inning. Next pitch, fastball swung on, fouled back behind the screen. One one pitch to Kubani, low. So count goes to two and one. Pitch breaking ball. Wind has been checked to swing just in time, so count will be three and one. They appealed down to the first base umpire. He says he did not go, so count remains three one. Oh, Kobani thought that pitch was ball four. Umpire calls it strike on the outside corner. So full count now to Kubani. Lead off hitter for the Mavericks this inning. That pitch is down in the dirt inside for ball four. So Kubani heads down with the leadoff walk. And 
we're back to the top of the order for the Mavericks center fielder Ryan Morin. Jones bunt, lays it down, kind of sharp to the third baseman. Makes the throw to second base to try to get the force out. It gets off, it gets off the glove of the second baseman. Kubeni is safe, and he immediately ran to third base as the ball kicked into the outfield. That is some great running by Sam Kubeni. Saw the ball come out, and he didn't stop. He just rounded the base and headed to third. He was, he was automatic there, so everybody's safe. Runners on first and third now. And Ryan Vosick comes up. Fossick safe on an error the first inning and then lined out sharply to the center fielder. He squares around, shows bunt, pulls back, throw is down to second base. Tried to get the runner stealing to second base. That throw is offline, kicks into the outfield again. Kubani easily comes home from third and scores. And Morin is safe at second base. Interesting choice there to throw down to second, to runner stealing second when you got a runner on third. So stolen base for Morin, and Kubeti advances on the air on the overthrow, and scores now 7-1 Mavericks. Vosick shows bunt, lays it down, it's a good bunt to the first baseman. That throw is, woo, wow, <laughs> first baseman did some major acrobatics to stay on the bag as that throw was high. Looks like Vosick is out, but he does the job and sacrifices the runner Morin over from second to third. Who almost got in there, it was safe too. So one out now brings up the pitcher Chris Windesman and Ryan Vosick standing on third base. Or sorry, Ryan Morin standing on third base. Little check swing, ground ball gets through. Oh, the shortstop does make the play, but he's not going to make the throw in time to catch Windesman. He's safe at first base with an RBI single that brings in Morin from third base. There you go, not trying to do too much. Know your situation, just need a ground ball to get that runner in. A piece of hitting there by Windesman, who will come out as he is the pitcher, and courtesy runner Ryan Shook will take his spot as the runner on first base. Score is now eight to one, Mavericks, here in the top of the fourth inning, and uh, still only one out. Brings up Jackson Collins, the first baseman. Swings and misses the first pitch. Shook stealing on the pitch, but the throw is on the wrong side of the bag and gets away from the second baseman, so Shook is in with a stolen base. Signs of frustration showing here on the count of the Roush defense is nothing seems to be going right. Oh, Collins looks at the next pitch breaking ball that stays in on the inside corner for a called strike. So umpire shows two strikes as the count. Next pitch is a fastball low, misses, ball one. Calls time right as the pitcher was coming into his delivery there. Colin steps out, so it'll be a no pitch. Count remains one ball and two strikes. Next pitch is high and nearly misses hitting Collins, the batter in the helmet. So Count is now two balls and two strikes. Next pitch is swung on and lined into the gap in left field. That's going to roll all the way down to the corner and to the fence. Shook will score easily from second base. Jackson Collins is in with a stand-up double. His second double of the day. So the 
designated hitter, Lance Bailey, comes to the plate. He swings the first pitch, fouls it off of his leg. He appears to be okay. Shakes that a little bit there. Score is now nine to one, Mavericks. And Jackson Collins standing at second base. One out here in the top of the fourth. Next pitch, fastball misses high. One ball, one strike. Next pitch, fastball lined into center field. Center fielder comes in, though, makes the catch. Good solid shot, just required the center fielder to make a couple steps in from where he was playing to make the play. So two outs now for the Mavericks. Brings up the left fielder, Jack Goins, third time today. Singled in his first at bat and walked. First pitch fastball misses outside. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into the air into shallow center field. Center fielder is hustling over there, but the ball is going to get down. And Collins was running on the play with two outs, so he will come across, and that will be run number 10 for the Mavericks. On an RBI single into shallow left center field by Goins. Two singles on the day for Jack. <clears throat> so the Mavericks continue to extend the inning here. Brings the catcher, Garrett Banks, up. He looks at the first pitch. Called strike on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch is swung on, grounded sharply down the third baseline, but just foul. Oh, so close. With Goins' speed, he would have scored from third, or scored from first, most likely. But just a little bit foul. Ten runs on eight hits for the Mavericks here so far today. Banks steps out, calls time. And comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball misses up high, ball one. And it looks like a balk is called by the home plate umpire. So Goings will advance to second base. So it comes the one two pitch to Banks. Breaking ball in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher, and Goins will advance easily to third base on the pass ball. So 2-2 two -two count now to Banks with two outs. Goins the runner on third base. Next pitch is fastball that hits the dirt before it even makes the plate. So that will be ball three. Full count now to Banks. And 
next pitch is down in the dirt again for ball four. Mavericks dugout's coming alive too. You can hear them yelling and, and doing chants over there now. Yeah. So they're they're pretty fired up. Mavericks are doing really well. <laughs> Tribal chants going on there, or some yeah, sort of deal there. Some, some, they're yelling something <laughs> over there. Tiki torches, who knows, who knows what's <laughs> going on in there. <laughs> so we're going to have a uh, courtesy runner for the catcher Banks at first base there. Looks like it's number five. Jacob Ritter goes in as the courtesy runner now on first base. So runners on first and third, two outs. Gavin Benoit steps in for the Mavericks. Looks at the first pitch fastball high and inside for ball one. One oh pitch is in there for a ball, but throw throw down to second base, catches the runner Ritter trying to steal. And he is caught stealing, so that ends the inning on the base paths. So Vinoy will be back up in the top of the fifth. Mavericks add four more runs to their score on a number of hits and excellent base running. So we've got a score now of 10 to 1 Mavericks heading into the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll be right back. Back with the top of the fourth, leadoff hitter for Rouse, the catcher Solomon, has the only hit for Rouse so far today, a double back in the first inning. Also their only run scored so far. Looks at the first pitch, nice breaking ball, comes in late, catches the outside corner for called strike one. Pitch is grounded to the third baseman. Fosick throws it over. Throws a little high, but Collins manages to stay on the bag to complete the play for the first out. <laughs> so one away. Brings up the left fielder, number eight, Salazar. Grounded out to shortstop his first at bat. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Next pitch grounded. Shortstop again. Fielded by Kubaney. Throw over to first base. Nice pick by the first baseman Collins in time for the second out. So two quick ground outs for Windesman. Top of the fourth inning here, or bottom of the fourth inning. Brings up the third baseman, Colby Diaz. Flew out to left field in his first at bat.
first pitch fastball misses low in the dirt. Pitch is grounded. Hard ground ball to third base. Vosick fields it, throws it over to first base in time for the third out of the inning. Three quick ground outs for Chris Winnesman in that inning. Nice job by the Mavs defense. And the Mavericks dugouts coming out onto the field and yelling and screaming too. They are fired up. They are fired up indeed. And for good reason. No runs, no hits in the bottom of the fourth. We head to the top of five. Score is still 10-1 Mavericks. Back with the top of the fifth inning here, we have a new pitcher for Rouse, number five, has come in to pitch. And he will face the leadoff hitter this inning for the Mavericks, second baseman Gavin Benoit. First pitch is fastball, misses outside for ball one. Vinoy hitting in the eighth slot will be followed by Kubani, the shortstop at number nine, and then back to the top of the order, center fielder Ryan Moore in this inning. Next pitch, fastball, just misses him. So count will be two balls and no strikes. Next pitch is down low in the dirt for ball three. So Benoit yet to see a strike. And he thought that last pitch was ball four, but umpire says it caught the inside corner, so that'll be strike one. He's got a 3-1 count now. That pitch was also a ball, but umpire says it caught the outside <laughs> corner, so he will head back for a full count now. 
probably not winning any favors with the umpire with those two. <laughs> Freeman sure walks the first base. Next pitch is swung on and fouled. Fouls it off. He says he's not he's, he's not letting that one go by. It's just not worked the last two, so he's swinging that out. Comes a 3-2 pitch to Benoit. And it's called strike three. So one away, that will bring up shortstop Sam Kubani. Flew out to center field and walked his two appearances today. First pitch fastball misses outside. Seeming to want to work outside, inside. He tries to come inside that time, misses again. So 2 0 count to Kubani. Next pitch grooved right down the middle there for called strike one. Two one pitch swung on, fouled back and out of play. Two-two pitch swung on, lofted into right field. Will it stay fair? Mm. Just, just lands in foul territory. So Cabani comes back to the plate. Two-two count. Fastball wild outside in the dirt. So count will go full. Here comes a 3 2 pitch to Kubani. Nearly hits him and misses for ball four. So Kubani is on with a one-out walk. And we are back to the top of the order for the Mavericks here. Center fielder Ryan Morin. And we're going to have a pinch runner for Kubani at first. Ryan Shook goes back out to be the runner at first base in Kubani's place. First pitch hits Morin on the hands, but he was in the motion of swinging. And he's going to get the base. I'm going to give him the base. Fans, uh, Rouse fans do not like that. Despite the disapproving <laughs> sentiments of our fans in the bleachers here, Morin stands at first base with a hit by pitch. That brings up third base and Ryan Vosick with runners on first and second here and one out. Vosick shows bunt, lays it down, is a nice bunt right in between catcher and first. Throw is oh. offline to first base again. Another error. So Shook oh, is wow. going to score. Vosick heads into second, and Morin is at third. And well executed small ball plays by the Mavericks, just eating up. McNeil bunting very well tonight. 
Yes, indeed. Making maximum use of those bunts, too. Brings Chris Winsman, the pitcher, up to the plate. Looks at the first pitch called strike. Fastball in the outside corner. Score is now 11 to 1 Mavericks. Next pitch comes pretty far inside, almost hits Winsman on the legs, but he gets out in time. So 1 1 count. Lays off the next pitch, just misses outside. So 2 1 count now to Windsman. Morin, the runner at third base, after being hit in the hands. Vosick, the runner at second, after that bunt error. Windsman swings, lofts the ball super high up into shallow second base area. Second baseman is underneath it there to make the catch. So it'll be two outs now. And it brings up Jackson Collins, who is absolutely torching the ball tonight. Two doubles and a single in his three at-bats. Let's see if he can put up another one here and extend the lead even further. Swung, pitch swung on. Goes directly back and hits the pole right in front of us here. Foul ball for strike one. Pitches a breaking ball that is in there for called strike two. O2 pitches a fastball that bounces in front of the plate. Ball one. Hangs in there and fights off a good slider. Just gets just a piece of it, sends it back foul to the screen. So count will remain at one ball and two strikes. Maverick still with runners on second and third here in two outs. Oh, wow. And the pitcher wow. tries to do a pickoff move to second base. Wow inexplicably no one there throws it right to the center fielder and and Morin comes home easily from third base Vosick remains at second on that throw but the score is now 12 to 1 Mavericks next pitch misses outside and low for ball two 2-2 two -two count to the hitter Collins Collins gets time from the umpire, steps out. Here comes the 2-2 pitch to Collins. And they try the wheel play again. Oh, Ball man. kicks off the second baseman's glove and goes into center field once again. Not deep enough, though, for Vosick to advance, so he stays at second. Here comes the 2-2 pitch to Collins. Pitches a ball, misses outside in the dirt. Catcher's quick to get it though. Ron Vosick does not advance from second. So Collins comes all the way back to a 3-2 count. Vosick with a healthy lead at second base. And here comes the pitch. 
Swung on, driven deep into left field. Wow. And it's going to get over the left fielder's <laughs> head and down and one hops the fence. And <laughs> Vostick scores. Collins is in with his third stand-up double of the day. So Jackson Collins having himself a day at the plate. Four for four this game with three doubles, a single, and three RBIs. And Coach Aguirre comes over to talk to the home plate umpire. Looks like there's some sort of uh, hitting substitution being engineered here. That ball was absolutely stroked by Collins. One hop the left field fence. All right, so we're gonna have a pinch hitter for the DH, Balius. Number 12, Connor Copeland comes in to hit. So Copeland stands in, left-hand hitting Copeland stands in with two outs here in the top of the fifth. Collins the runner at second base. And first pitch to Copeland is a wild pitch in the dirt at his feet. Gets past the Rouse catcher and Collins advances to third easily. So 1 0 count to Copeland. Next pitch is high and outside for ball two. Next pitch swung on, fouled back, out of play. So it'll be two balls and one strike to Copeland. Pitches a fastball, catches the outside corner for called strike two. Two balls, two strikes to Copeland, two outs. Jackson Collins, the runner on third base. And the next pitch hits Copeland squarely in the back, and he will head down to first base with a hit by pitch. And the Mavericks continue to extend the inning. So Jack Goins steps in with runners on first and third. Goins with two singles and a walk today. Been on base all three times he's come to the plate. First pitch is a fastball. And this is high and out, high and inside. Ball one. at the next pitch fastball over the plate on the outside corner called strike one. Next pitch swung on lined over the third baseman and into the all the way down to the fence and in the gap in left field. I think they're gonna wave Connor in too. No. Copeland's no, gonna, gonna be held up. Copeland's gonna be held up at third. But Jack Goins once again reaches base with a double. And the Mavericks have caught absolute lightning with the bats this inning.
Collins did score from third easily on that play, so the score is now 14 to one Mavericks. Brings up catcher Garrett Banks to hit. Swings at the first pitch, mi pitch misses called or strike one. Next pitch, slider misses outside, ball one. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into wow. the gap in <coughs> left field. That ball is down. Two hops to fence. Copeland and Goins will score. And Banks is in with a stand-up double. So back-to-back -back doubles for the Mavericks. And they have now batted around. And Gavin Van Noy, who started off this inning, is back to the plate for his second appearance. Pinch runner, number five, Jacob Ritter, goes in at second base in place of the or courtesy runner for the catcher, Banks, who just hit that double. Van Noy looks at the first pitch, a called strike. Score 16 to 1 now, Mavericks. 16 runs on 11 hits. Checks the swing and holds back on that last pitch, which was in the dirt. So one on one count to Vinoy. Next pitch, fastball over the outside corner for called strike two. One ball and two strikes to count to Vinoy. Rear to the runner at second base. Two outs. Swing and a miss at the next pitch. Strike three. So that ends the inning for the Mavericks, but not after a whole bunch of damage and a ton of hitting. Six runs, three doubles, a couple of walks and hit by pitch. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Rouse coming up the bat, score is 16 to 1 Mavericks. So we are back with the bottom of the fifth. Rouse up to bat. Chris Wynn has been spinning an absolute gem here so far. Only allowed one hit on the day. Leadoff batter number four steps in. Looks at a first pitch called strike outside. Flew out to center field his first at bat. Pitch is grounded to third base. Bosick fields it, bobbles it, picks it up, throws it over to first base. In time for the out. Way to stick with it, Bosick. So 
another ground out for the first out of the inning. Brings up the first baseman, number 22, who also grounded out to shortstop in his first appearance. First pitch is a fastball in the dirt, low. Ball one. Misses high and outside, ball two. Two old pitches in there for a called strike. Next pitch is in there for a called strike as well. Catches the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch, fastball misses outside. So we'll have a full count. Three two pitch fouled out of play over towards the bullpens on the routes side. Oh, next pitch looked really good, but must have missed just low. Oh, that was a great pitch by Windesman. It looked like looked like it was in there, but must have been just a smidgen low. So number 22 is on with a one-out walk. Pinch hitter comes in in place of number 34 Correjo, number 15 batting. Looks at the first pitch in there called strike one. Next pitch is low and in the dirt, ball one. Nice fastball in the outside corner there, called strike two. One ball and two strikes. We're at first not taking very much of a lead with a 15 run deficit. Next pitch is swung on and missed, strike three. First strikeout for Wind has been tonight, second out of the inning. Brings up the shortstop, number 23. Looks at the first pitch, called strike, fastball in the outside corner. Pitches, fastball low and in the dirt inside. Counter go to one and one. This pitch is swung on and missed. So 
So the Raiders down to likely their last strike. One ball and two strikes. Comes the one-two pitch from Windesman. Fastball misses high and outside. Kind of go to two and two. Pitches swung on, foul back, popped towards the bleachers. Does land in the bleachers, just a few rows over to our right. So two balls, two strikes, still the count. Next pitch is swung on and just gets a piece of it foul. Two-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Windesman ends the inning, and that should end the ball game by a count of the mercy roll. And it in fact does. So. Mavericks bats wake up in a big way, scoring 16 runs over five innings on 11 hits and helped along by seven errors on the Rouse Raiders side. Chris Windesman pitches the full game, only allows one run, one hit. Mavericks walk away with a 16 to one victory here over Rouse. Thanks everyone for joining us on the live stream today. We will be back tomorrow. Next game for the Mavericks. They face McCallum at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, provided we do not get rained out. So thanks everyone for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow.